All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday. How's everybody doing? Norman, good to see you. Raymond, Nita, Grant, everybody on YouTube, Facebook Live. Welcome back. It's nice to see you all. I am so excited. Today's Friday. It is a clear, clear sky here in New York. Finally, finally, I took my jacket off. I can't believe it. I, I didn't think I was going to, you know, bust out my uh, fireplace, but uh, you know what? Good thing I didn't. Uh, I mean, I did it two days ago. It was freezing, but it was awesome. Anyway, um, and not only that, I know we probably joke around here once in a while, but I am super psyched yesterday watching the NFL draft. Um, I don't know how you guys did on your draft picks, but uh, digested phenomenal. So I'm so, so excited about what happened. So by that, with that, with those standards, I am really excited what's going to happen today. A lot of good things are going on. I mean, the market is down about 133 points. Big deal. Yesterday, we had a really nice rally. We had some bad news that came out with Apple and Amazon and all that stuff. We're going to check those things out. But uh, a couple of things that moved yesterday, pretty, pretty cool. We're going to check those out uh, regardless about the rally and everything else. So listen, regardless, regardless of what happened yesterday, yesterday was like – they said it was the uh, the second time in like 13 months that the market was up that much. I mean, we were up to almost like eight, eight, nine hundred points yesterday. We came back down a little bit, but um, and it's funny because you don't know is this the rally? Is this it? Listen, it it, it could be a short covering, could be a bunch of stuff. But you know what? Today's Friday. We know about Fridays, so you don't want to be too crazy. Anyway, this stock right here, F. And CH is doing awesome. Nice little cheap little stock right here. Nice little pop right here at 7 a.m. We're going to keep an eye on that. A few others, we're going to go through the watch list. But let's talk about what happened yesterday because we had a couple of good stocks that did move. I want to start off with TDOC, okay? So TDOC, this stock right here, uh, there we go. Just want to blow this up. So this stock got crushed, crushed. And by being crushed, I'm going to put this back on the watch list today, T, uh, TDOC. You can see it right here. Let me go back two days so you can see what happened right here. This stock got hammered. It was a $60, uh, $60 oh, $55 stock. After hours did not meet earnings. Think after hours did got crushed. And it finally made a little bit of a pop. Uh, ran from like 29, ran to about 34. Nice, nice move right there. But that is a devastating $160 stock back in October. July was almost like, you know, 180. I mean, going down to 32, ouch. That stock was, but it was, it was fun. It had a little bit of a rally going into yesterday and that wouldn't do too bad. Pinterest, you know, I have a sweet spot for Pinterest. Pinterest, Pinterest got destroyed. Some of you know this, we day traded the stock right here. Uh, when it went public, let me go back two years. You can see what I'm talking about. So we did pretty well with Pinterest. This thing ran from 20, ran all the way to about not, almost 90. And you can see it did like this. Once it broke, like it didn't break higher highs. I think a lot of us got out 70 when we did the swing trade on that stock, came all the way down to 20. Stocks at major support levels right here. So once again, you want to be a good swing trader. You damn well better learn how to day trade first because this has everything to do with it. Stock had a nice little bounce right here yesterday. And this is all about the rally, though. Pinterest didn't move. because I mean, it had good earnings. You could see over here that had good earnings and it came back down. But um, Pinterest, keep an eye on it. I mean, I love Pinterest. If anyone is you know shopping or looking to do some landscaping, you know I own, I own a home living channel. And it was funny. I was out last night in Manhattan. And, uh, you know, every, I went out with a couple of friends. They just love what I'm doing with the, with the, uh, with the home living channel. Like, how do you come up with these ideas? I said, I watch Pinterest, you know, I love Pinterest, but don't let your personal feelings with any stock, you know, make you want to buy the stock. You got to make sure could, because you know what, if I loved it that much at 70, I probably would hold it and wrote it down to 20. But you know what? As a swing trader, it looks pretty good right here. And it was nice yesterday. So that stock did move pretty well nicely. A couple other ones I want to point out. ID, AI, that one right there also. It was an early morning runner, that stock. And then it got halted. This thing was pretty crazy. 
uh, you could see it right here when it had that little nice move and thing went up, but then it obviously came back down. But uh, IDAI was also very nice. I know a lot of you guys made your money for the day and you were done for the day. Listen, um, another another thing that I did trade in, we talk about this next week. I'm going to be doing my class next week. You know, the phase three, I know a lot of you here in the cyber group room uh, just finished up phase two with Josh. But, um, you know, one of the big things that I always like when I see stocks getting hammered, killed, destroyed, Netflix was pretty good yesterday. Netflix it was it was a seven hundred dollars stock, went down to four hundred. Thing was always down to two hundred, but yesterday had a really nice pop right here. You could see where where once that we had that rally. These are stocks like whenever you see the market get really crushed, and then it had a big comeback. You know, me, I'm sorry. If you see a stock that got destroyed, a brand name stock, you see a little bit of comeback. So this stock went from like one eighty nine. All the way to about 200. Nice little 10 point mover. And also Disney, you know, same thing. You can see it right here. Stock got hammered. Uh, we've been watching Disney on the short, but you know what? With the big rally, these are things you want to kind of, you know, lean to. And this one had a nice little pop right there, too. So, anyway, that's yesterday. That's Thursday. Today's Friday. We've got to turn the page. So, as always, it's a new day. And with day trading goes, whatever happened yesterday is the past. Today's the future. Let's go on. Look what's going on this morning. So we got about less than a little bit more than 20 minutes for the market opens up. We're going to go through the watch list. So the stock that I thought was pretty interesting here was this stock right here, um, FNCH. Hold on one second. I got to bring up my on my level four. I deleted it. FNCH. Let me load up the data on that. So we got a nice little push on the stock. What I like about this stock right here, the stock got hammered all the way from $17. Then came all the way down right around $250. It's, it's up a little bit. It's a pharmaceutical stock. I could just assume that probably came out some decent news on one of their drugs. We know pharmaceutical stocks don't come back, but this is the problem with the stock right here, which a lot of you love about Cybertrain University. We don't teach you about the past. We teach you about the future. And the future is this. Um, as I'm looking at the stock right here, you can see that there are, it looks like we're having some sellers show up. We're getting a little bit of a uh, what we call a ladder effect on it, meaning there are people that are dumping it and selling it. So I'm a little, little cautious on this. So we had that good, nice little 8 a.m. Uh, program trading time that kicks in. So, But as of right now, we want to be a little careful about that. So, but we also know when the market opens up, you got you ha you have eight, eight thirty, nine a.m., and then obviously nine thirty, nine thirty-five actually. But we'll put it on the watch list. We'll keep an eye on it. All right. So that one looks pretty good. Uh, look at this. This 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 is right here the third biggest percentage gainer on the Nasdaq. Sixteen percent. LNTH. It's it's garbage. This one. ETF. We all know about ETFs. We got to be careful of those because we can't see the iceberg orders. So as I'm working my way down, I mean we're at the 13% range of stocks, and you know as we're looking at it, we're not seeing that much. This stock we did trade it the last couple of days. This stock uh, we did pretty well on it. RDBX. Josh would be excited. We did pretty well on this stock too. A lot of you did pretty well. Uh, IQ. I mean, it's like these are all brand name stocks. We traded these. They're not really doing that much. Losers, this stock is getting crushed. I don't know if it's really coming back at all, but ACCD. Do we ever trade that stock before? I don't think I ever trade that stock. Uh, New York Stock Exchange. This stock is up 41%. Seven dollars, seven eighty. Came back down. Big support levels. You know, you can see it got major, major resistance. Let me see if there's a big iceberg order at 780 on that stock. Let me bring it up. Z-Y-M-E. Let's check it out. Hold on. Let's see what we got going on here. Just load up the data on that. Uh, yep. See that right there? Wow. Eh, not, not super resistance, but wow. You can see that guy just really came out there and just kept pushing it down right there. That's a pretty big iceberg order. You know what? If you didn't see that, you would have got really, really beat up. But that guy's been out there. So that's some major resistance. You know what? I'll keep an eye on though. Listen, it's Friday. We know about Fridays. It's not the greatest day to trade. I mean, especially being here in New York. I mean, if I could, I would go fishing right now. Um, it's gorgeous out, especially dealing with all this cold. So we know Friday is not the greatest day, but Friday afternoons are a lot better. But, you know, sometimes these stocks do come from nowhere. Here's a good stock. Oh, look at that. 
my little NFT right here. Oh, there we go. T cat. Wow. All right. I love T cat. I don't know what it is. I'm still waiting for the stock to come back. A lot of you remember the stock. We traded the stock um, back in March. It went from like two dollars to about seventy five. So this became a nice day trade, and from a day trade it became a great swing trade. So T cat looks pretty good. We're gonna keep. Wow, I like that one. Oh, that stock can move. By the way, one thing you got to be careful about T cat. It is extremely volatile. Extremely. Don't let this cute little three dollar stock fool you. This thing is very, very nasty. Okay, it could trade very, very quickly. You know what? I'm gonna call it quits. That that pretty much does it. All right. Anything I'm missing? I did not call out. Uh, Pat, I was looking at I was looking at that stock. Um, I'll bring it up for you. The DWAC, it's up about $5. You know, I don't know why it's up so much. Maybe because this is actually, if some of you don't know, this is a Trump stock. Uh, this is like Twitter. Um, and Trump started, uh, President Trump started his own one. And I guess because he's not going to Twitter, he said. I mean, obviously, he doesn't want to destroy companies, bring public. But yeah, during that buyout, the stock was at 32. It's at 53. There's some warrants out there you could trade. I would be a little careful about that stock. Be a little careful, okay? Oh, he has Deborah. He started posting on it. Okay, I, I didn't think it is. It, it, it did it. Did it go? Did it? Did it launch yet? I mean, it did start launching. I mean, you don't really too much about it, but yeah. Okay, wow. All right, there you go. That's probably why. So, listen, if you're a huge Trump fan or you're an anti-Trump fan, at the end of the day, when you're a trader, we're the same party the party of traders so listen at the end of the day i don't think anyone cares you know other than making money so you just got to go where the money is so if dwac is going um and i'm glad you guys are telling me that that's what we i guess what we, that's what we train you what to do right so it's all about being a team all right guys um so anyway let's get ready for the market open up you got about 15 minutes and put the stocks in a watch list. If you're watching YouTube, Facebook Live, we're here every morning live at 9 a.m. and at 2.30. You could always like us and friend us, and you could join our trading room if you like to. Uh, do a $9 trial. Cyber Group members will start commentary once the market opens up. And if I don't see you, enjoy your weekend. All right, everybody? Happy trading. See you back here on Monday.